I have six beautiful filet mignons, which is a tender, boneless cut of meat. It's a little expensive though, but it's definitely worth it. You just can't get that tender meat, that melt in your mouth, buttery piece of meat. We're just gonna salt and pepper them. And I also wanna turn the heat under my pan. So salt and pepper both sides. Very important. Let's flip them. And the filet mignon is a, the end piece of a tenderloin. And it is just mouth-watering. It's definitely worth the little extra money. And we want to cut some butter because we're going to cook it in a little bit of butter, which is going to be so good. Just want to make sure that the butter has coated the bottom of the pan. And we're going to add our fillets. We'll make sure our pan is hot enough so that we get a nice sear. Because it's only going to take about three minutes per side to get medium rare steaks. It's ready. There we go. All right, while those cook, I'm going to make the syrup. We're going to use one and a half cups of balsamic vinegar. And balsamic vinegar is a very rich, full-bodied vinegar. It's really only become popular in the States in the last 15 years or so. We're gonna add our balsamic vinegar. And see, it's already thick and rich. We're gonna thicken it up and sweeten it up a little bit more. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of granulated sugar. Okay. And this is going to reduce, and it's going to take about 18 minutes for this to reduce. And it'll be very syrupy and very sweet. So it's going to be perfect on a filet. Oh, nice, beautiful brown crust on top. Just the way I like it. OK. So we're ready to take them off. And we're going to put them on this baking sheet. And then I'm going to crumble some goat cheese on top. Now, I happen to like a lot of goat cheese on my steaks. And because it's so soft and moist, it's going to melt really fast. There we go, just a few more. OK, so I'm ready to put my steaks under the broiler for just a minute until the cheese melts. And in the meantime, I'm going to check and stir my balsamic syrup until it gets nice and thick. Now for the syrup. I've reduced it, and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit over the steaks. See, look how good that looks. It's going to be sweet and perfect. Our friends are going to love this. Filet mignon with balsamic syrup and goat cheese is a meat lover's dream.